Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to hear is true. I'm a detective. Abramowitz, Joe, just the facts, ma'am. I didn't see anything, but I know what happened. Okay, there's a place called Uz, and there, there's this wonderful man, and his name is Job. He lives there with his seven sons and three daughters. And they have a lot of land, and they've been blessed. They have so many blessings. When the sons of God, they were probably angels, came before God to present themselves to the Lord, the angel of darkness came with them. Whoa. Anyway. Let's go over it again. Just the facts, ma'am. God looked down on the earth and he saw Job and he said to the angel of darkness that there was no one on earth like Job. The angel of darkness said to God, he told God that if he was to take away all the things that Job had, I mean, all the things, the blessings that God gave to Job, oh, then we would see Job's true colors. We would really see who Job was on the inside. This is what the angel of darkness said to God. So God allowed the angel of darkness to inflict suffering on Job and Job lost everything. In the midst of all this suffering, Job still found the heart to praise God. But Job is devastated. His friends felt bad for him. Who were the friends? They would go over with him what on earth he had done to have all these bad things happen to him. Job is innocent, but he is emotionally stressed. Yeah, just like a lot of us are right now. Anyway, he goes over and over in his head, just what could be going on? Sometimes he, he actually believes that all will be well, but then his mind is tortured and all he could feel and see was doom. He demands that God come and explain himself. So a big giant storm cloud appeared and Job is shown how truly magnificent the world that God created is. He's shown two beasts that can kill anyone or anything, but they're not evil. They are just part of this magnificent world. God is bigger and more complex than we can even imagine. We cannot see or understand this complexity of God. Job still doesn't know why he's suffered, but he trusts God. Now, Job gets back double what was taken from him. Not for anything that he did or didn't do. God in his wisdom decided to give Job a gift. The bottom line is no matter what comes, good or bad, we should trust God in his wisdom. The book of Job. Well, we're done for today. I'm leaving. Thinking about and telling this story has been really stressful for me. Imagining that Job losing all his things, especially in this time now with this coronavirus. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get changed and I'm gonna make myself some comfort food. This whole thing just is really, really stressful. Extremely stressful. Whew. Like I said, uh, comfort food is just what I need right now. So I'm gonna get myself together. I'm gonna start getting the ingredients. My father stocked in the chef gave this recipe to all his children. You know, we knew Julia Child as a, you know, a famous 
TV, personality, and culinary artist. But Julia Child was also a spy, sort of. Well, maybe she wasn't a master spy. But she worked during World War II for the Office of Strategic Services. It was a huge spy network created by President Franklin Roosevelt. The OSS was the forerunner of today's CIA. So how do you like those apples? Sister Howard used to be is not the only spy around town. Get to it. We have Stockton's baked macaroni and cheese. Start off with a pound of elbow macaroni, one pound of cheddar cheese. It could either be shredded or grated. And then in the liquid mix, we have four eggs, which we've already beat up. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna to start to mix that up. And then I'm gonna put in a can of carnation evaporated milk and mix it all in, the whole can. Yes siree. Woo -hoo. Okay, mix it up. Very good, mix, mix, mix. Yes. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna layer all of this together. We're gonna start with the first layer, which first we put in some of the uh, elbow macaroni. Do. As a matter of fact, we take half. And we spread it all around here. Okay, and then we take, I actually got mild cheddar cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. So the first layer of cheese is going to be sharp cheese. Okay, and I'll put a layer of that. And then we're gonna cover it with half of the liquid. macaroni right in there yes very good very good very good spread that around and then ooh, one little one left get in there two it's twins got them in there all right and then we're gonna put the mild cheese. Spread that around. Ooh, got a big hunk. Okay, let me spread it out there. Yes. Get that cheese on there. And because I like a lot of cheese, I'm actually going to put in a little bit more. I go by how it looks. I just want it to really be in there. All right? That. And we have a layer that's left. Put it in. Spread it around. Yes, we do. Yes. 
will place it in the oven. And like I said, it's gonna cook at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes.